my name is Claudia and I just want to be a person. And I really didn't know what I wanted to be, but I knew I wasn't going to not, I, I, I didn't want to be stuck and not say something. So I came up with what I thought in my mind. And to be a person was to be for me to be influential. And so I knew at a very young age, you just got to, you know, it's important for parents too, to hone in on your gifts of your children. Because sometimes what we can do is suppress the gifts of children because they're not being done in the right moment. I'll give you an example. My son, I knew he had leadership ability, but it was not always the right time. Like, I'm like, Amari, you cannot tell the teacher what to do. This is her classroom. And so instead of suppressing it, I found the right environment for him so that he can show his leadership. And the teacher would, you know, in, you know, not sit him at a desk and say, no, do that. No, Mari, come and help me. Can you erase the board? Can you help your classmate with that lesson since you've mastered it? And so really finding the right environment that are conducive for you. And that's something you said as well. Find the right environment that pushes you and takes you to the next level. And for maybe a person who's as driven as you, being top performer was natural. So maybe someone who's still doubting, maybe the next level is one step at a time, correct? Like a lot of people were asking you, how do I know this? I see this more. And maybe I don't feel this. Yes. Do you think they need So I, I think a lot of people are afraid. Mm. So it's not that they haven't found their gift. They're second judging what they're gifted at doing because maybe they have imposter syndrome or maybe, and I want to say this, they're looking at people who've already hit their level. And so now what they do is compare where they are to where they see people are. And they don't really feel like they can get there. So they gotta do they, they gotta do due diligence, they gotta do work, they've gotta do self-improvement. And they have to educate themselves. So they need to go and follow those people, but not where they are, but where they started in the journey. So they can identify and say, oh, okay, it's okay to be right here right now. Okay, wait, I did this, this, and this. Wow, my business, you know, revenue increase. Wow, and, and, and you just you keep having those wow moments that also allow you to keep going. The wow moments that allow you to keep going. I love that so much. And I want to answer the question that people ask you, and I thought it was fantastic, because you talk about your first investment property. Yes. And people talk about that, and they tend to think that you were a trust fund baby, that you were handed $5 million Girl, to I invest. Was not, I wish. <laughs> Give me some trust money, okay? So we need to we need to clip this section for someone who's feeding themselves with those excuses. They haven't had those wall moments. How can they start making those actions that are gonna be the leap for them? You know what I'd like to say one bite at a time. Literally one bite at a time. And I'll tell you this. You know, somebody asked me, well, how do you how do you eat an elephant or how do you tackle that one bite at a time? One bite at a time. One thing at a time until you become great at that one thing. Don't start doing five things and start taking these theories. You know, you should be um, diversified. No, because you can be a master of none. Hold in the one thing that works for you, become a master of it, and then move on to the next thing. Then move into the next segment, and you'll realize you're going to start creating partnerships with people. So you're not even... The effort it's going to take you to go into that next effort is effortless because that person is looking for somebody just to invest in their business. So, so, so let's just say you had a tech company and I love the tech company and you were crowdfunding and now I'm able to invest silently, make money with you while I'm still focused on the thing that's bringing me my income to continue to, to collaborate with other people, to invest with other people. You are good, Roman, let me tell you. Thank you so much for being here. If people want to connect with you, where can they reach you? Um, 786-229-6567 and my socials are my first and last name, Claudia Ann Hibbert. I'll spell it for you. C-L-A-U-D-I-E-N-N-E -N -N -E, Hibbert, H-I-B-B-E-R-T. Thank you for being here and don't come back to her unless you're ready to change your life. That's the only ah. thing I'm going to let you off the hook. Yes, that was dope.